Throughout this season, we've seen teams make use of Symmetra's teleporter for executing a variety of tactics, from bypassing difficult choke points to stealthily defensive setups. But in today's video, we will take a look at the more niche instance when the Atlanta Reign flip the script for a more offensive approach with a dynamic team composition, featuring the Symmetra and Bastion as its core. When the Rain took on the Eternal during Week 28, Volskaya saw the latter set up their defense with the typical dive-oriented setup. Winston, D.Va, Mercy, and Sombra paired alongside an Ashen Ana that pokes away from afar while building up their ultimates for a team fight to overwhelm the opposition. Some teams would go up against this with a team comp featuring the likes of Genji, Wrecking Ball, and a Sombra of their own, but the Rain had an alternative up their sleeves when trying to take Volskaya point A. Opting to have Bastion as their main DPS threat, the Rain opened the map with Orisa, Sigma, and Batiste for a bunker style combo that would require a team to slowly advance forward while playing around Bastion's sentry mode. One of the main problems when running this on attack as opposed to defense is that it just isn't the most ideal for pushing onto a point and would take time to get set up in favorable positions. The key to running an offensive Bastion bunker for the Rain in this case is their Symmetra X Factor. The map opens up with the Rain moving as a unit towards the primary choke of Volskaya Point A, initially using shields to intercept some incoming fire but catching the Eternal off guard with Saucy Symmetra, who quickly sets up a teleporter and repositions his entire team all the way over to the ledge overlooking the point. This effectively bypasses Soon Sombra who is on the side in addition to the Eternal's tank line, allowing the rain to comfortably set up Edison's Bastion in sentry mode in a great vantage point while guarded by the shields. The beauty of the rain strategy doesn't end here though, as they quickly redeploy another teleport as soon as it's off cooldown to reposition themselves on the high ground on the opposite side of the point. This effectively grants the Atlanta Rain the ability to access both high grounds overlooking the point. And with what happens next, we can see their plan truly come together. Once the Reign's Orisa and Sigma drop down starting to accumulate capture progress, the pressure is on for the Eternal, who are scrambling back towards the point and essentially experiencing a role reversal, as if they were actually the attackers instead of being the defenders. No Smites Winston and Hanbin's Diva lead the way for the Eternal, as they try to take back the point but they get their health bars melted by Edison Bastion, who is teleporting back and forth between the two ledges, adding further confusion to the situation. Once the high ground teleporters were established for the rain, the flexibility and escape options now open to Edison's Bastion left the Eternal's attention split, between him firing away in sentry mode from up high and the double shield threat trying to capture the point. This setup from the Reign's Bastion is to quickly get out of harm's way should the Eternal send anyone to take him out, while his team is able to maintain the use of their shields for the fight at ground level, all the while having the option of Masa on Mercy with the mobility of Guardian's Angel to provide support if need be. Having committed to their defense with a Sombra Ash, the Eternal simply did not have enough damage in their team composition to break a double shield bunker effectively, while also lacking an immediate answer to deal with the Bastion. With health bars dropping in quick succession, the Eternal reset and regroup for the latter half of the map, as the Rain comfortably claim point A. And I think this is one of the failures of the Paris Eternal's composition, is that they just don't have the damage, and there's no way that Soon can output enough damage on his own to be able to take down a, a Bastion, even if they did get a really good collapse onto it. After going 2 for 2, things head into the tiebreaker round, and the Rain, who only needed 33 capture percentage, opt to go for a round 2 with their tried and true strategy once again. This time around, the Rain used Symmetra Teleporter to head towards the upper right, just to mix things up again. But the result, as you might expect, ends up being the same. The Eternal, who were running the exact same composition that they did at the start of the map, still didn't have an answer to the cheese that Atlanta had brought with them to Volskaya. With tanks on the ground diverting attention and the threat posed by a teleporting Edison who was left relatively unchecked on the high ground, the rain overwhelmed the Eternal yet again in a case of deja vu, securing the map win. Hail Bastion is what I'm going to say there. Our new overlord, our old overlord, he's back baby. The strategy that the Rain had when attacking Volskaya in the series demonstrates how a slower, less mobile composition with good coordination and the element of surprise can outplay dive-oriented setups, but more importantly deny them from playing to their win con of bidding the time they need to acure a bank of ultimates for an explosive team fight. This video is brought to you by our newly released Patreon. A massive thank you to everybody on this list and shout out to Arknox, Sammy, Shampoo, and Nathan for being Platinum supporters. And a special shout out to Rafi for being our first Diamond supporter. Thanks guys, it really means a lot to us. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below. Or become a member of our Discord community to talk to us directly. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Nikita, and thank you for watching.